the OF-40 MBT Italian tank. What was different about this battle tank? How it was built and who built it? What are its performance specs? What were the main variants of OF-40? Which country was in lead for the purchase of OF-40? Why it was born only to serve the United Arab Emirates? Let's get all your answers. Hello everyone, welcome back to Alpha Tanks. Today we are going to find out every single detail about the Italian main battle tank OF-40. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our amazing videos. And let's begin. The OF-40 is an Italian main battle tank that was designed as a joint venture between OTO Malara and Fiat. Its primary purpose was to be sold in foreign markets. OTO Malara would be in charge of the design and production of the hulls, while Fiat would be responsible for supplying the vehicle components. The designation of the vehicle is derived from the initials of the two businesses that are working together on the project, and the number 40 refers to the anticipated total weight of the tank. In 1977, OTO Malara embarked on the first stages of the design process, and by 1980, the company had completed the production of its first prototypes. How was the main battle tank made OF-40 actually? During the 1970s, the Italian firm OTO Malara made 720 Leopard 1 main battle tanks for the Italian army. In the past, it was able to acquire a production license from the German business known as Krauss Maffe. It not only provided the Italians with the opportunity to gain experience in tank production, but it also provided the necessary assembly lines for the Leopard 1. This experience was used in the design of the new main battle tank, the OF-40, which was prepared for serial manufacture in the year 1980. This main battle tank was designed with the intention of being sold in countries located in the Near and Middle East. At this time, it is only being offered to customers in the United Arab Emirates. The general purpose vehicle, the OF-40 main battle tank. The design of the OF-40 incorporates a significant amount of Leopard 1 components and mechanisms. Both the turret and the hull have been welded together. The frontal armored panels are installed at a significant inclination level, offering increased protection as a result. Anti-cumulative screens with a thickness of 15 millimeters are applied to the boards and chassis of the hull. The driving compartment is located in the very front of the hull on the right side of the board. The driver is responsible for operating three different periscope observation equipment. Additionally, the center device can be switched out for an infrared night vision sight if desired. A portion of the ammunition load is stashed away in the area to the driver's left. What were the performance specs of the OF-40? The turret, which contains three seats, is home to the primary weapon. The company OTO Malara is responsible for developing this unstabilized 105mm rifled cannon. Its design is comparable to that of the L7 gun that was designed in the United Kingdom and has the same caliber. The ammunition load includes 57 rounds, each of which contains one of the three different types of projectiles, armor-piercing, cumulative, or high-explosion fragmentation. Fifteen rounds are loaded into the turret, while the remaining ammunition is stored in the forward portion of the hull. The electronic ballistic computer and the laser rangefinder are what make up the fire control system. The laser rangefinder is positioned in the gunner's optical sight. The panoramic sight used by the tank commander has a magnification of eight times and a channel for passive night observation. Additional armament includes a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, as well as an additional 7.62mm anti-aircraft machine gun that is positioned over the commander's hatch. Launchers for smoke grenades are located on both the left and right sides of the turret. The German MTU company designed the 838CAM 500 V-type 10-cylinder diesel engine that powers the OF-40 main battle tank. This engine was created in Germany. Transmission from ZF, which is a hydromechanic system, is integrated into the engine block. Torsion is different from suspension. The OF-40 main battle tank has seven wheels and three supporting rolls on each side. In total, it has 14 wheels. The driving sprockets are located in the rear of the vehicle. The track has a rubber metallic hinge, a rubberized run track, and additional rubber pads that can be removed if necessary. The main battle tank has excellent performance and maneuverability across a variety of terrains. It can handle vertical steps of up to 1.1 meters in height and a trench that is 3 meters wide. It is able to ford water obstacles with a depth of 1.2 meters without any preparation and up to 3 meters with underwater driving equipment. The OF-40 includes a fully operational air filtering machine, communication devices, and an automatic fire protection system. 
when designing this main battle tank, the designers took into consideration its potential uses in regions with a warm climate. Therefore, the OF-40 has an engine cooling system that is more capable as well as additional air filters and an air conditioner for the crew members. There were measures taken to eliminate any possibility of dirt entering the engine, the transmission, or the chassis. There are specialized lubricating materials that have been developed. The chassis of the OF-40 main battle tank was utilized in the development of an armored recovery vehicle. In 1981, the OTO Malara firm released an updated version of the OF-40 main battle tank. The primary goal of the upgrade was to enhance the tank's ability to do damage. First, there was a system for stabilizing the mounted cannon in two planes, and then there was the OG-14LR fire control system, which was designed by Officine Galileo. This brand new fire control system featured a ballistic computer, which takes into account a variety of elements, including the speed of the wind, the air temperature, the heat of the load, and the type of projectile. Additionally, a thermal vision observation camera with various mounting options was installed. This superior model, which featured a brand new firing control system, was introduced. The tank has excellent performance and maneuverability in off-road environments was the main advantage. There are a great many components that are suitable for use with the OF-40. Although the battle tank had specs, yet it had a disadvantage too. The first serial production of tanks did not come equipped with any kind of gun stabilization mechanism. The turret can only hold a total of 15 projectiles at any given time. The only thing that can be used in its place is air filtration equipment, as there is no nuclear, biological, or chemical protective system. What were the main variants of OF-40? The MK-2 version of the OF-40 had a better OG-14LR fire control system with the main gun that could be stabilized on two axes and better sensors. The MK-2 had an improved day-night periscope for the commander, an improved sight with 7 and 14 times magnification for the gunner, and a turret-mounted LLLTV camera that provides nighttime observation and identification up to 2 kilometers and relays images to monitors at both the gunner's and commander's stations. On the front of the turret of this version, there was also welded steel applique armor, all UAE OF-40s have been upgraded to the MK-2 standard. There were four more variants that were made. OF-40 MK-2 MTCA has an engine that was added to a single OF-40 MK-2 tank. This gave the tank 170 more horsepower, from 830 to 1000. OF-40 MK-2 Thetis is an experimental OF-40 MK-2 with the Thetis thermal sight plus NVD and extra armor around the tank's turret. OF-40 ARV is an armored recovery vehicle built on the OF-40 chassis. It has a four-person crew and is equipped with a dozer blade, a welding kit, and an 18-ton crane. OF-40 SPAG is an A-self-propelled anti-aircraft vehicle like the Gepard was planned, but it was never made because no customers asked for it. Which country was in lead for the purchase of OF-40? Although Thailand conducted tests on the tank, Egypt showed it off and Spain and Greece expressed interest in producing it locally, the United Arab Emirates was the only country to place an order for one of these vehicles in the end. The initial order for 18 OF-40s placed by the UAE was fulfilled in 1981. After this, a second order for 18 further OF-40s and three armored recovery vehicles developed from the OF-40 was placed, and it was fulfilled by 1985. The OF-40 is no longer available for purchase from OTO Malara. Now you know everything about the unforgotten Italian MBT OF-40. And that brings us to the end of the video. Feel free to let us know what you think about this video. And if you like this video, then please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for all things. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.